Hi guys, Brooklyn, and welcome to my channel. So, today's video is going to be my five and six week pregnancy update video. Can't believe I'm like nearly seven weeks pregnant. Obviously, it's a Sunday night, it's like I don't know what time it is. I'll check my wee iPad. Flip, it's like 11 o'clock. <laughs> um, so so that church and everything just had a nice family day today. One thing I was tired today because two Frenchies kept me up half a night, me and Connor. No, we would not settle. Literally, every hour on hour, she was up, mucking around, not settling. I had to turn both of them, get to bed, get to bed. That was me. <laughs> Literally, like a crazy woman. But enough about that crazy night. Let's just get into my five and week pregnant my five and week my five and six week pregnancy vlog update. So week five I don't really have anything much different from week four the odd but I, well I did notice the tiredness getting more the morning sickness a bit more but not really too crazy. It's pretty similar to week four. I did have a flirt up gum a week five, which wasn't fun, but it's pretty much near enough clear up. Touch wood. Week six, <laughs> that was an eventful week, let me tell you. So the tiredness has kept in way more than what it was. Early pregnancy fatigue, it's no joke. It really is no joke. I feel like I'm back to where I was before I got treated for my under the thyroid i'm just so tired literally so tired i'm not that tired now because i'm not trained night hour and because i didn't have a good line apart from the disturbed sleep from my two frenchies apart from that but then for the day i was really tired and run down i felt like just bleh. um but because i'm filming videos i don't know if woke myself up a good bit but in tiredness I'm falling to bed at 10 o'clock at night. Like a normal day where I woke up at like half seven, I'm falling to bed at nine, half nine sometimes. I'm lucky to even like stay up like to 11 sometimes. I really, really am. I just conk out. I'm just so tired, I conk right out. Um, Yeah, the fatigue is tired. It's well, it is tiredness, but it's just not fun. It really, really isn't, but it's worth it because I'm getting a lovely baby at the end of it. Um, morning sickness, it has got a bit stronger this week, but it isn't often too bad. Do you all be able of nausea throughout the day sometimes? I don't get it constant, which is good, but I don't know how that's going to change coming into the week, sick like weeks in, and it could be a different story. I'm praying to God it isn't worse or bad or anything like really bad like the way the tiredness is um because that tiredness is really kicking my butt just it is um i have for a bunch which was lunch <laughs> if i could speak which was week five but i think that was my own fault for like taking my vitamins on that the stomach which i should have just took them with a meal or something like that so they did free up on just mainly like water and stuff which was delightful, but yeah, just one of them things. Um, what happened this week? I had a bit of an eventful week. The day I turned six weeks. So what happened was I had a scar. Like I thought I was having a miscarriage. Now trigger warning. I should have put this on before. I will write on like the screen before I mentioned this. If you are triggered by this and you have went through like anything like loss, I'm so so sorry and I really feel for you. But if you don't want to watch this part of the video, I understand. I will try to put a timestamp if I can or something. The way I'm not speaking, I've done speaking about this part, but on that Tuesday evening, I noticed I got some bleeding, I got spotting, which freaked me out but I rang my um was it like 
the hospitals, like emergency obstetrics team, and I said just to keep an eye on it, but if you feel concerned to come in. And at that time, I was more kind of considering whether or not to go to the hospital. And then it got heavier. It wasn't like heavy bleeding, but it was like getting into that light to kind of, I wouldn't say moderate, I would say it's still on the lighter end of the bleeding, but it was bright red. So I knew just to go to the hospital, it's better to be safe than sorry. And I would, I would encourage you if you are pregnant and if you do have that, it's better to get checked out. It really, really is. So I went to, because it was like so early in the pregnancy, I had to just go to a and &E in the normal a and &E. And I went there. It was like nearly enough overnight in the a and &E to get scanned because the doctor who was scanning me, he had to like do a C-section on another patient. And it was hard to get him to come over to the hospital because obviously it was night time. So yeah and he had other like patients to see too which i understand it's just one of them things but i was really what's that oh it's just another button i thought something else on my phone there um which i understand but i was freaking out i was freaking out like what if something's like i'm losing this child and all and no one cares but even though they did care it was my mind taking over and i got a scan done and obviously got my URI and everything what they do and the scan showed that I had obviously a pregnancy in the uterus so it was normal that like, he checked everything which is brilliant he like was very fair he checked um like my ovaries my tubes and everything and made sure there was no kind of ectopic because obviously I knew I've read up that if you do have bleeding like that sometimes in pregnancy it could indicate like an ectopic pregnancy and I was like oh crap so you're better being safe and sorry and I was like you know what I'm better like even though it was overnight I did end up getting admitted to the ward to the gynae ward overnight which was fine it had to be done because obviously it's my baby it's my baby and wanted to make sure it was safe so yeah um, that was quite scary, that bleeding, and I'm not going to lie, it was so, so scary, like, my mind went into shock, I really, really did, like, I was like, am I losing this child, what's happening, I was like, first of all, I went into shock, and then I was freaking out in the hospital, like, and I was not loud and screaming and crying, it was that point where, like, you wanted to cry, but you couldn't cry, that type of shock, but you were, like, freaking out too, um lucky enough husband god love him he had listened to my ranting like why are they getting seen but even though it wasn't like it wasn't meaning that in the main way it was more like i was coming from a place of being worried about my child that kind of thing and i apologize to anyone who's heard me ranting like that even if you're probably not watching this video but yeah so got a scan done did notice that i did have some kind of system right over it but if it was like PCOS but I don't really get apart from the regular cycle I don't really get any other symptoms of PCOS but my left ovary looked completely normal because he did look to a fur check so obviously there's always a chance and when you get pregnant that you will end up like an ectopic pregnancy or even a molar pregnancy but thank the lord I didn't have any of that he did find the gestational sac and the yolk sac in the womb which was a good sign and he did say look i think you're a bit like um earlier on when i what you've told me because your periods are left like i didn't say up the left is yet a regular you could be four or five weeks pregnant i don't think i'm four weeks like i do think i'm six weeks but maybe like more sex with the end of the week compared to like dead on Tuesday because maybe I could have obviated later that week, I don't know. But um, we did say seeing the gestational sac and the yolk sac and, and I did read up somewhere that that's all you can see sometimes six weeks or five weeks, so yeah. Um, so I got admitted into the ward. 
I felt a bit reassured after. Obviously, it was a warning case, like it was a mis miscarriage, because sometimes that can happen. The baby can develop behind, and I'm praying to God that that hasn't happened, because I do still have um, all my symptoms. I haven't really had like any bleeding since it stopped. Thank the Lord. And they did get the blood drawn in the hospital. They did um tell me my hormones for like the pregnancy were all like high and my progesterone was like where it should be when you're pregnant. And they did say like the other doctor did say, look, I think you still like I said to try to call myself four weeks or five weeks. Just she said just say you're six weeks until you get your second scan. But I think you are anyway. So um and said your H E D. Itchy, itch, CG levels are high, which is a good sign. So I felt really sure. And I did ask for a copy of like my scan picture, even though what you can see just the gestational sac and the yolk sac in the scan picture. But I was like, in case the worst comes to worst with touch wood, it all ends up well. I wanted to still have a scan picture just to remember. Well, yeah, just, I'm a weirdo, just wanted to have, like, at least I got a scan, do you know what I mean? And I know it's not a bit morbid saying that, but I wanted that scan picture, even though you couldn't see the actual baby on the scan. But what I did, they did rebook me for a scan for that following Saturday, well, not the same Saturday coming up, but the following Saturday, so 10 days from that Wednesday, I was in the hospital. So next week, I do have my scan, like at the early pregnancy clinic last Saturday, so I will be getting the scan. They'll check the baby. And the funny story is, me and my husband actually booked an early private reassurance scan that Sunday. So I've got like two scans that weekend, which is fine. I don't want to, like, maybe I could still get done the window to the room, or maybe I could, like, reschedule and use that deposit for the gender scan I don't know I might actually look into that it might make more sense to do that but also you get more pictures out of it I don't know um I'll probably look into that but I got a letter of my like um antenatal appointments and stuff yesterday so I actually have an appointment at half nine on that Friday for my first midwife appointment, which is crazy. So I have that on Friday and then my early pregnancy unit scan that Saturday, and then potentially that early pregnancy window to the womb scan on Sunday. So I've got three duty appointments at home again. Now coming to think of it, I will might I will might. I'll probably ring them up tomorrow and see. Um should I still keep that appointment or should I just use it at the deposit and book in for the gender scan because I want to get one of them done too. But if I can't be moved, just get it done and at least I have more pictures to show. But, um, yeah, so I will show you the scan picture now. It's one of them here, so as you can tell, sorry, that ring light's disturbing. As you can tell that we, um, obviously the black, Thing is a gestational sac. The wee um circle is the yolk sac, but you can't see the baby just yet. That's just what it looks like. Um, I might. Oh, we can see it there. I might try to put a better picture up. If you can't see it, but that's a scan of wee baby in there, but you can't see the baby. It's just a wee sac. But at least you have that scan picture. So, um, that's a scan, and obviously, if all goes well, we're doing my next update. I will have scan pictures from the early pregnancy unit scan. I will tell you the first midwife appointment and how it went. They had given me like questionnaires to fill out before I went, so I'm going to do that during the week at some point. Um, so I will show you a bump, which I don't really have a bump yet, but I'm going to show you anyway. Just, um, what I'll do is I'll just. point you here so obviously I'm still like I'm wearing a slim light fit but I'm still pretty 
flat and I have a bit of bloat around this area but it's just like similar to what I would get before period like before period. Um I will just show you here. So from here from the side, hang on. The side. The other side. So basically, I don't think it's changed from the last update. It's probably not going to. Maybe a little bit more bloated because it is the end of the day and obviously I get food and stuff and had like drunk things. But obviously not alcohol because <laughs> I've had drink but no, I stopped all that since I found out I was pregnant. Um, so yeah. That's my um five six week pregnancy update. I will update you in two weeks time. Obviously these are secret vlogs updates. They're gonna go up once I've announced it all over social media, and I will the week like the first week update or update you. <laughs> the first week I announce it, I'll put this up a long time normal videos. So you'll be getting videos throughout the week pretty much and. Yeah, um, you'll see it like a couple of days from my first update. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you again in the next one. Stay gorgeous. God bless. Bye.